About a year ago, we made a video where we shot a frozen banana and a soft banana out of our air can to see if it could kill you. And using science, we determined that no, it cannot. So today we're gonna try that again, but with a rock hard banana using liquid nitrogen. Not too long ago, we made a poor man's cryogenic fluid using acetone and dry ice because we thought that would be easier than getting the real deal. Turns out getting the real deal is probably easier and cheaper maybe? The expensive part is buying the doer, but once you have that, it's only $30 to fill it, and that's 10 liters. So the doer is very insulated, and that is what you store your liquid nitrogen in. Keeps it cold for a really long time. You just drop something down in there. Okay, you got it out. And then to make it easier to dip objects in, we're going to pour it into this styrofoam container, which it will evaporate out of here quickly, but it'll stay in here long enough for us to use it. Oh my gosh. Here, you drop it in. I can't see where the liquid's at. Okay, egg is bubbling, which means it's not quite equalized in temperature yet. How do we get that out? <laughs> liquid nitrogen is negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, it looks like it hard boiled it. Shatter it. <laughs> it's still gooey in the center. Wasn't quite frozen all the way. We're gonna stick another one in the cannon. We're gonna shoot it there and see if it can kill you. Our scientific way of figuring that out is if it goes through the plywood, then you're dead. If not, you live. Three, two, one. There we go. And I was not expecting it to do that much to it. That kind of surprises me. Should we do a raw egg? As a comparison? I think so. Three, two, one. As you can see, especially in the slow motion, this is uh, not nearly as deadly. A frozen one, I think that would really hurt to get hit by. Yeah, I mean, that would leave a, a mark for sure. Break ribs. Next up is going to be a kiwi. Yeah. Kiwi froze a little quicker than it was comfortable with, so it split in two. Good thing it split, because it actually doesn't fit. It did before, I think it expanded. Can a frozen kiwi kill you in three, two, one? Our dump valve kind of broke. I don't think it was ever intended to just run air through it. It's for irrigation water, so. Yeah, it took a dump. <laughs> it took a dump. We're going back to the old method of just doing it by hand. And we're all out of liquid nitrogen. But it is very cold in there. Corn on the cob is frozen. Cryogenically and... frozen. Frozen corn on the cob. Can it kill you? Three, two, one. So, we've learned a couple things. Corn on the cob is not very aerodynamic. It took maybe 10 feet for it to get sideways. Check this out. It's still like, the corn is gone, but oh, there's just a frozen all pod. the corn's gone. <laughs> there's just little pieces of corn all over the ground. <laughs> so with corn on the cob, not only are you dead, but the guy behind you is probably dead too. But maybe not? You can see a mark on that. Yeah, right? you can see where it hit right there. So remember the galaxy fold? We tried to make one. We found this. So we thought this might make a good target. I want to see if you can shoot a banana and break all three screens lined up like... While it's folded up. While it's stacked, yeah. Like, like that. We'll do one frozen banana, and then we'll do one not frozen. Will a thawed banana break a phone screen? Three phone screens. Two, one. There is no banana peel. Only thing you got is banana paste. Oh, it is cracked. Just barely. How'd you crack your phone? Yeah, you trapped a banana on it. Seriously, where's the banana peel? Like that's what always shocks me. It's like so fibrous. It's just gone. Kiwi's that's still kiwi. like frozen. We're feeding the raccoons that come through here at night, so. 
we're also creating a raccoon problem here. <laughs> So after reviewing the high speed on that, uh, the banana wasn't even whole when it hit the phone. It was banana mist that broke that, and I never would have believed that. Frozen banana, will it shatter three phone screens? Three, two. So it turns out a banana in the cryo cannon is like the equivalent of a shotgun, because that still came out in a bunch of pieces. But the damage is a lot worse. Some of the bananas are still stuck in the board here, dude. That's embedded banana. <laughs> banana shards. But the other two screens look just fine. So frozen banana will only break one phone. So if you want to protect your phone, have a dummy phone in front of your phone. That way when it gets hit, your real phone is still okay. I think the frozen corn on the cob will be able to finish this off. This is how the easy way to remove the silk from your corn. They just freeze it off. There you go. Frozen corn on the cob. Against DIY Samsung Galaxy Fold. We do one. Now that's part of the battery underneath that piece of. No, the corn on the cob is just smoking. Yeah. That's the screen. Yeah, that's the screen. Wow, there's some glass. Um, so one phone is like gone. Oh, it's over there. Uh, yeah. It had a battery in it. You were right, Dan. <laughs> oh, there it is. Battery is nice and folded up. So not even a Galaxy Fold can save you from a frozen corn on the cob. The more you know.